Hi, I'm Kira Fitzpatrick and I'm a lecturer at Ulster University School of Law and the Transitional Justice Institute. And my main area of research is the social security system in the UK. Last week I had the privilege of having a short feature piece published on the ARC website where I had the opportunity to underline why I feel the social security system is in inadequately equipped to deal with the thousands of people who are turning to universal credit on a weekly basis in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic. What I want to do today is briefly discuss three of the key concerns that I have for Northern Ireland as we move into an unprecedented economic recession. Potentially my biggest concern is the, the ability for the executive to continue to sustain the welfare reform mitigation package. Myself, my colleagues in the Cliff Edge Coalition were very pleased when Minister Hargate announced that she would extend the mitigation package. However, as we enter into a deep economic recession, budgetary pressures will become much harder to manage and ministers will have to make some difficult decisions. I'm worried that the welfare reform mitigation package may be in the firing line. That's why we have to get behind our colleagues and the rest of the UK in pushing for reform at Westminster level. We need the benefit cap to be removed. We need the bedroom tax to be removed and the two child limit also needs to be removed. We also need a greater increase in the standard allowance and for it to also apply to legacy benefits. Secondly, I'm worried about the economic impact of the recession on those who were disproportionately affected after the 2008 recession. For example, women, lone parents and those with disabilities and health conditions. We know that we have very unique social and economic circumstances in Northern Ireland. We have a mental health crisis. We have a housing crisis. We have a crisis in our health and social care. We have the longest NHS waiting times in the UK. All of these issues are only set to be compounded and exacerbated by the current crisis. I'm particularly worried that we still do not have a poverty strategy at executive level nor a childcare strategy, which is going to make problems much more intense for those groups that I've just mentioned. The final thing that I am growing more concerned at is the, the, normal, the normalisation of food banks in our society, particularly in the wake of the pandemic. I do not in any way want to undermine the fantastic work that food banks across our city and across the region are doing in terms of supporting those people in most need. But I'm worried that food banks are becoming embedded in, in our emergency response when really people deserve the dignity and respect of cash transfers. We have really led the way in terms of providing cash transfers to those parents who are entitled to free school meals. Is there a way that we could look at our devolved powers in order to ensure that families get a top up payment so that they do not have to use a food bank? This is a question that I feel we should be putting forward to our elected representatives. So that's it for now and uh, I hope to be able to do another update soon.